everyone and welcome back to this week's First Impression Friday. So today I'm bringing you a completely different brand again. This is the brand Color Theory. I have some brushes and an eyeshadow palette that I'm going to be sharing with you guys today. So I have just done my foundation and concealer. I've set my concealer but not my face because I want to use this big powder brush for that. So I'm just going to run you through the brushes quickly so then I can start using them. Yes, I have washed these brushes but I just pop them back in here for the sake of this video. So this first brush is a powder brush, then we have the foundation brush, and then the concealer brush, and then the all over eyeshadow brush, and then the definer eyeshadow brush, and then you have your liner and brow brush. So I'm going to do my brows with the liner and brow brush. Okay, so before I do my brows, I'm going to set the rest of my face with my Rimmel Stay Matte. I'll zoom you guys in. So this is what the brush looks like. It's really sleek and pretty. And these are so soft. But yeah, like I said, I've washed them. They have the logo right here. They don't have the name of the brush, but they are really soft. And I picked this brush set up for $10, but I think they retail for $20 normally. But I picked them up on sale as I normally do. But they are so soft and smooth. I love the feel of them. And I love how they're not just typically your black normal brush with your black or white hairs. It's like completely different. So it picks up the product really well if you can see that. It feels really nice on my face. They had another brush set that I haven't seen. By the way, you can get Colour Theory at... MCAL and Guardian Chemist. There's not really one near me. The closest one is 20 minutes away. I mean, that's not far, but it's not exactly close. And MCAL and Guardians aren't really popular um, pharmacies. So, oh well. But if you do have one, go check out this stuff. Like I said, I've got the eyeshadow palette and the brush set. They do everything and they have their own little range. And nothing's like over $10, I don't think. Also, I got this Colour Theory eyeliner pencil out of my Bella box, so that's how you might have known of the brand. So, now I'm just going to do my eyebrows with their liner and brow brush. I needed a new eyeliner brush, so when I got this, I was like, yes. Okay, so my brows are on. I really enjoyed how that brush works. That's probably going to be my new eyebrow brush. Love it. Also, I use this to kind of carve out my brows, and I never do that technique, but... I think I need to start doing that technique because I love it, especially when my brows are such a hot mess like they are right now. So these are the two eye brushes. This one's fluffy and this one's pretty fluffy too, but this one's more fluffy. So I'll probably use this to blend out. I mean, I'm not going to be using all of these brushes. Like I'm not going to be able to use them for the whole look. I'm going to still have to use all my other blending brushes, but you know, we're going to work with what we've got. So this makeup look today is going to be an autumn inspired makeup look. I got an autumn inspired makeup look from the beautiful Hannah from the Beauty Bandit Oz. If you guys know her and follow her, I'll leave her link down below. So I have these colours here. I'm going to try and lead towards the ready colours and maybe add some of the olive green. So when I think of autumn and fall, I think of like orangey, ready, green leaves. Like that's what I think of. So I'm just going to work off what I have. So stay tuned if you want to watch this tutorial. Okay, so this eyeshadow palette is called the Eyeful of Colour Palette. It has 22 eyeshadows in total. They are a gram each. You get a decent colour selection as you can see. And as far as I'm concerned, they have about maybe three or four matte shades, which is good. But the rest are oh, shimmers. So I think this palette is stunning. So I'm going to start off with my crease colour. And I'm just going to use one of my fluffy blending brushes for that. And I'm just going to use this peachy colour here. But first, sticky tape. I have my concealer, so I've kind of just stuck that on real gently. But I'm going to go into this peachy shade and run that through my crease. So as soon as I dip it in, it has a fair bit of fallout, as you can see. And it kind of just disappears off my brush. So I'm not going to tap it off. I'm just going to gently... Okay, I think I'm going to go fairly smoky. Like, I think I'm going to put uh, this colour all over my lid. Which is like a burgundy colour. 
But first I'm going to put this chocolate matte brown into my crease slightly. I'm going to take this short shader brush out of the kit and use that burgundy eyeshadow and pop that all over my lid. So I took that darker matte shade next to the chocolate brown and that's what I'm putting in between the two colours. Okay, now I'm going back into that burgundy shade that I first took and just touching up the lid. And then with a more defined brush, I'm going to take the Sigma E25 blending. I'm going back into the chocolate and back into the dark color and really focusing on that middle bit. These are my eyes. I really like how smoky it's turned out. Now for the brow bone highlight, I'm just going to use this color here. for the inner corner I'm going to use that first white shade there. Okay so those are the eyeshadows. I really do like them. They are really pigmented. They blend out really nicely. This palette was ten dollars. I'm no this palette was five dollars. It's normally ten dollars. Even for a ten dollar palette that's cheap. I really do like the quality of these eyeshadows. As per usual, I will include swatches at the end. So I'm just going to go off do the rest of my makeup. Okay, so I did eyeliner. For once, I didn't actually do a wing, which I'm surprised about. But I love how this eyeshadow looks so far. Now I'm just going to take that same burgundy shade and pop that on my bottom lash line. The one that I used all over my lid. Okay, now I'm going to pop the brown eyeliner pencil in my waterline. The Astralis Volor Lips in Budapest, which looks like this. So here is my completed look, my first impressions on the Color Theory eyeshadow palette and the brushes. I love it all up and I love this look for something different. It's not something that I would genuinely normally do, but I actually really like it. So here is just a close up of the eyes. Great for fall, great for winter, great for autumn here as we call it. So yeah, I do did enjoy this look. So if you have a chemist near you that stocks Colour Theory, I suggest you go and pick up some of their products. They are good quality for the price, especially if everything is under $10. Give this video a thumbs up if you thought it was helpful. Please subscribe to my channel. It would mean the world to me. Also, let me know down below, as per usual, what other videos you would like to see in a First Impression Friday. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye! Also, just on a quick little side note, I just want to say thank you to everyone, all my new subscribers, anyone who's ever commented, liked my video, or even just watched my videos. It means the world to me, guys. I wake up every day and I'm like, oh, new subscribers, or a new, new comment, or more likes. Like, it's just so exciting. Anyone who follows me on Instagram or anything like that, I'm just so appreciative for all your support. So I just want to say thank you, guys. And I will be doing a giveaway at 1K. I'm not even close to that yet, but I'm just saying there will be rewards in the future. But just thank you anyway. I love you guys. Back to my channel. So in today's video, I have my Bella Box unboxing. This is the March Bella Box. 
Now, let me just say I am fairly disappointed with this one.